In James 5, verse 16, it says, Pray for one another. But how do we pray for another? There is one way, and that's a positive prayer, seeing the best as God sees. So often in human mind, we pray, God, I just see disaster ahead for this person. I don't see any possible way they'll make it out. I see just one pitfall after another pitfall. That's not a positive prayer. To pray is to pray aright. If someone close to you is especially in your thoughts and in your heart today, if there is something that you can do, you do it. And you do it through a prayer that is a blessing. To make your prayer not from lower human mind, but from high God mind. And to see the best, to speak the best, to believe the best about another or about yourself. So often we're most critical in our prayers about ourselves. We just don't see any way out. We see only disaster. And our prayer, it becomes a disaster prayer, a negative prayer. If you pray and after you pray, you feel worse than when you began to pray, you didn't pray. You just thought negative in a new and a higher way. You have to turn it around to turn it to God. We have faith in God as an ever-present help. And our faith in God as a child of God connected and heir to all of God's good. Our gift of faith to one who needs guidance can be to picture that one as walking in the light of God. In our mind's eye, we see that person surrounded and enfolded in the light of God. And in this light of God, right answers are given, right pathways are made clear, and a better outcome than we could even conceive of in human mind comes to pass. And that, my friend, I know to be the truth. When I pray with someone, I might visualize the good, but I guarantee you, when God touches the situation, it will turn out better than either of us could have conceived of in the beginning. We know that when we are praying with someone and God gets involved, that great things are going to happen. I believe there should always be a trinity of prayer. You, God, and the other person. Not just you yourself praying, but always connected to another person through God. And then great things are going to happen. Our prayer of faith to the one that needs healing can be to picture that one as healthy and strong. I do it all the time when I'm watching the news and they picture the ICU rooms with the dear souls that are going through so much. I try not to focus so much my mind's eye on the problem as my mind's eye on God and what God can do. And I see that person connected with God and I see God connected with them in a way that eternally makes them vital again and alive, eternally one with God's life. In any need of any kind, we can give the gift of faith. We can see those for whom we pray as already one, one with the fulfillment of their needs. Now, you might say, you might be speaking out loud to this right now and say, well, yeah, but how about those that die? I know that God always turns around everything. And if there's one thing that I believe in, 
Without doubt, it is eternal life. And I know that when a body is not great enough for a soul anymore because it's been too damaged, that soul will rise and it will live again. And it will continue to live and be embraced in the love of God. And there can be a great healing in that also. And when I'm praying in that way, I also pray for those around that person. That if they realized how happy he or she was right now with God and with those that have passed on before, they could not grieve as if there was no hope. They would know without a doubt that God is good. And God can turn around any disaster into something that is good and marvelous. We pray today that there is a gift of faith that we can give to others. And we pray that when we pray for another, that we pray in the highest God way possible. 